everybody. My name is Rob Anderson. I'm a magician here in Las Vegas. We're on the Las Vegas Strip on New Year's Day, and I just met Anthony and Christina here, who came in all the way from California. We're going to do a little bit of street magic for them for this street magic video. I know you two, uh, I'm guessing you're a couple, yes? Like together? They look head on the shoulder, I thought so. Right. <laughs> I feel really awkward if not. Uh, how long have you been together? Uh, it's last summer, August, so about six, seven months. Very cool, congrats. That's very cool though. So back in August, you went on some of your first dates, got to know each other, maybe you held hands. I want to take you back to your first dates with our first trick, all right? Anthony, you're going to hold your right hand out just like this. Christina, your right hand is going to go like this. Perfect, and I am going to do this. I've got a card there. I'm going to use the three of clubs for this. I'm going to hand the three to Anthony. Christina's hand will go on top of that card, so you're sort of holding hands there. Perfect, sort of like on those first dates, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, maybe not. It's all right, it's okay. At some point, you held hands. Think of the magic you felt when you held hands. You're gonna feel a little bit of magic in a second, because I've got the seven of hearts. Much better for you to have. Hearts represent love. We're gonna talk about your love here in a second. You felt that love, you're gonna feel this. Did you feel that right there? Feel that? Did you feel that? Yeah. Did you feel that? <laughs> look, what you have, you should have the, look, 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 look at it. Yeah, the hearts. Uh -huh. Such a better card for you two to have. I told you, I wanted you to have that card. I need it back. Crazy magic powers, a lot of practice. Let's do another one. I actually made a little prediction. Made a prediction about meeting a compatible couple. You two seem compatible. I think you're gonna do really well at this. I made that prediction on four cards that I took out of the deck earlier. I have those four cards right here. I'm gonna tell you this much, they're queens. Okay, I did something special I won't show you. You're going to hold the cards so you know I can't sleight of hand these or anything. Could you take your hand, just cup it, cupping it like mine is. You're gonna hold these cards, freeze with them in your hand just like that. Just don't let them move, that's perfect. Again, these are queens. You're going to work together, it's a two-part trick. Anthony's first. If Anthony just chose red cards, hearts, and diamonds, you can keep either one. Would you like the heart or the diamond, Christina? Uh, the heart. The heart <laughs> over the diamond, love over money. She's a keeper, she's a keeper, it's good, look. I predicted one card. I thought you would say hearts. I've got the hearts right there. I turned it over for you two. I took it out of a totally different deck of cards, though. That's how sure I was of what you two would choose right here. And I knew, thank you. I knew we would need it. I knew we wouldn't need the other cards, so I didn't bring any other cards with me at all. That is all I brought for a compatible couple. Let's do a grand finale. One more, OK? okay. Christina, you're going to help. I would like you to think of any time that you felt happy with Anthony. Could be anything. I won't guess it or say what this is. Just think about a happy memory. There's a lot. As you think about this, I want you to let your mind go back to where you were and what you were doing, and more importantly, what time it was. I want you to visualize the time in your mind to the closest hour, almost as if you were looking at a clock. Visualize the hour hand on the clock at either somewhere between 1 o'clock through 12 o'clock, so that you've got that number 1 through 12 locked inside your mind. 3 o'clock. 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 12 is right there, 1 through 12 on our clock. I'm going to figure out what this time is. I can't read mine, so I'm not going to read your mind. I'm going to uh, complete this clock using a fork that I stole earlier from Bellagio at dinner. Please don't tell them about this. this <laughs> they're never happy when I do this, but I'm going to complete this clock right now. Again, this is 12. Think of your time. I'm going to turn this so the 12 o'clock card is facing the opposite direction. I'm going to lay this fork like an hour hand at 9. Oh, it wasn't 9. That's close, though. Watch the fork. 10 o'clock? Was it 10 o'clock? You thought of 10 o'clock, a special memory at 10 o'clock. None of the other cards matter at all, only the 10 o'clock card. As I leave this with you, that concludes the magic. When I go away, let him know what the special memory was. This will be your souvenir of all of your memories, including one you'll make right here tonight. That is a good card. Anthony, that's for you. Whenever you're ready, you can show that to Christina.
Hey, it's Rob, and I wanted to let you know that our DIY proposal kits, they contain every romantic thing you need to stage your own proposal. They're now shipping at magicalproposals.com. Go check them out.